Hello, everyone. So make sure I notify everyone. <clears throat> I think we're good. Let me turn on the chat. Yay. I think I can see everything now. <laughs> hey, got two people in here. Hello, everyone. Have I got some news for you? Hey, if you're here, let me know. <clears throat> Type in Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Type in Happy Friday. If you're watching me live, I'm going to pull some cards. For you today, too, we're going to talk about some special announcements that are coming up um, and what is going on. So here I am, Madam Z, Magical Life Coach and Female Empowerment Leader and the High Priestess of Madam Z's School of Witchery. So welcome to my little magical piece of the world. You may be watching me from my YouTube channel, my Facebook page or my Facebook group. And thanks for joining me. So, hello, everyone. Um, Let me see if I can pull up my... Let me know if you guys can hear me okay and if you can see me before I get started. I'm going to pull up my page <clears throat> so I can see comments because sometimes... Um, I can't see comments and I really want to talk to you all today. So what is going on in your world? Happy, happy Friday. You guys getting ready for the weekend? Getting ready for Thanksgiving? Okay, I think I'm good. It has creeped up on me. Can you, I just can't believe that next week is um, Thanksgiving. Hey, Caitlin, how are you? Hope you're doing well. You guys getting snow where you're at? Getting snow? Um, I can't believe, yeah, I can't believe that next week is Thanksgiving. So this is going to be our first Thanksgiving in our house. Super excited. We just got our tree yesterday. So we're going to be putting that up. Um, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Let me know where you are watching from. Um, Caitlin said we're good. We have snow a couple months now. Oh, no. Yeah, I forget. I forget that it starts snowing there um, like six months out of the year. <laughs> So we got our first tree. We are going to put that up next week. Um, things are going really, really good where I'm at. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about um, what celebrations you have going on that we need to put out into the universe. We got some special announcements going on. Um, and I just want to sit here and talk to you about how you were doing in your practice. Where do you need help from um, and support with? So hello, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me today on this wonderful Friday. It's about 27 degrees, I think, out today. And um, I'm going to move this over here so I can, you guys don't have to see me looking back and forth. So, hey, Lynn, how are you, my sister? So glad you're here. I hadn't talked to you in a while. Um, thanks for joining me. So, yeah, we got our tree, so we're getting ready to put that up. I'm super excited about that. We're going to be spending our first holidays here in um the home so i should call it the home i'm i'm working on finding out the name that i want to call this house i haven't figured that out yet it needs to be a magical powerful name and it'll come to me when the house is ready to reveal the name it will reveal the name um so things are going really well at madam z's world um this weekend i have my first paranormal and dark history tour um, town tour. We're going to be starting downtown in um, St. Joe. We're going to be going through Museum Hill, looking at all the mansions, talking about the dark history, some of the paranormal stuff. So that's going on really well. Um, the business is really well. Life is really well. And I really just designed it to be that way, which is what I want to talk to you about today is designing your magical life and your magical practice. Um, by a show of hands or some hearts or some thumbs up, and I'm going to give myself some hearts and thumbs up so you guys know, um, what do you want to work on magically for the next few 
well, for, you know, the end of the year. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said the end of the year. For um, the next month, what do you want to work on? And how many of you are in a magical business? And I would like to know if you guys are in a magical business and what your goals are for the magical business. And um, I'm going to pull some cards too while we're here. Um, so the reason why I wanted to come on today is I really wanted to sit and talk to you about where you are in your magical practice, where you are maybe in your magical business, because I am a magical life coach and a magical business coach. So I do all of that stuff all through intuitive coaching. Um, so, and you have been watching some of my lives. You've been watching some of the replays on the series that I have been doing it this week about where you are and where you want to manifest and how some people have just hung out with me for the last, I don't know, year or so. And you guys are in the same position, the same boat. And I want you to get fired up. So Caitlin said magical business, but I would like to reach the next level. Yay. I know you've been doing some cool stuff. I am a wish, but my daily practice has fallen out since Ellie. So I want to get back into daily practice and hit the next level for me. And that I'm glad that you brought that up too, Caitlin, because a lot of us with, with magical practice, practices and, of course, and businesses, and of course you have a little witchling, so that takes a lot of priority from you. Our business and our magical practice go hand in hand, okay? If you are not connected to the magical practice and you have a magical business, then that's going to tank also. If you're not working in your magic every day, then you're not raising the vibration of working in your power every day in your business. It's threefold, right? Mind, body, and spirit, magical practice, business, and intentions or manifestations. So if you're lacking in one part of that trinity is what I call it, right? your magical practice, your magical business, and your manifestation, <clears throat> it really does affect it. Um, Kayla says, yes, exactly. So I want to get back on a constant level. It's, you know, and that's where I come in is as a coach, we create this daily practice for you. And we want to look at how you're working in your business constantly, how you're working in your magic constantly, and you're doing the things to set you up on a daily basis for success magically so that your ideal clients can come in so that the money can flow. Are you doing the attraction part of the manifestation in your magic? And, you know, I'm going to be honest. Um, sometimes your practice is about ebb and flow, too. You're not just like a business, just like your money is ebb and flow. Right. You're not going to be high vibe all the time. But that's okay, because sometimes you need to step back. Sometimes you need a break of um, just reevaluating. And that is what this we are in now, right? The cycle of just reevaluation. But it's also a cycle of, hey, we're getting ready for the rebirth of the sun, right? That's our next um, um, Sabbath is coming up. Yule, we kind of start celebrating <clears throat> maybe, you know, the, the um, new you coming in and the new business coming in, what you want to manifest. So what better way to start now and what you want to create than to work with me one-on-one? -on -one. And we're going to talk about that and work with, you know, the gods, the goddesses, the sun god that's coming up, that's going to be powerful. Yule, I'm going to be doing a class on rebirth within yourself through Yule. That's going to be part of a summit that I'm working with, with Christina Quick. That's going to be coming up. But I have found that when you do, when you are not fully in your magical practice and you have a witchy business, then your magical business is really connected to your energy. And once your energy is low, then your business energy is low also, because that's what we do as a witchy business. We are all about vibration. We are all about bringing in those ideal clients through what we want to manifest and through how we present ourselves. If you're not doing your magic on a daily basis, how are you supposed to bring in, you know, enlightened people or woo people or, you know, crystal people 
or people who love doing what we do, spiritual people, if you're not doing your spiritual, spiritual practice yourself. You can't expect the universe to give you spiritual people if you're not doing your magic at home in your own practice yourself. And that's where I come in at. And that's part of the six sessions fierce as fuck that we're going to be talking about program also. But yeah, Caitlin, you've been doing really well. She has um, some products that, um, oh my gosh, I was thinking about you yesterday because I was looking at Amazon and I think it was called Sew Your Magic or something like that it was a book. And it was, or I think it was Sew Your Magic or Magically Sew or something like that. Yeah, Caitlin's been rocking it. But um, so I thought about you. So she, Caitlin is doing a lot of stuff in the community. She is doing events. She is running festivals. She also has an online seamstress, magical seamstress. So she makes amazing um, aprons. And I don't know if you do... Do you do wand bags? That be might be something you should do wand bags. Um, so yeah, Caitlin's been kicking it, kicking ass. But that's what happens, you know. I've felt that too. I'm like, oh my god, I work on my business all the time. I didn't practice my magic. You have to make time for your magic. You have to make time for your personal connection with the universe and what you want to call in, right? I started a local pagan community as well, and yes, I have wand bags. Yes, I thought you had wand bags. Yeah. So that is one of the reasons why it is so important that we connect with our magical selves, especially if we have a magical business and we want to create that magical business. OK, because we are connected. We are an, an extension of our magical practice. All right. So um, today is Friday. So I'm going to. Oh, my gosh. Where are we going? We're going to go see a concert tonight, so we're going to, I'm going to be working. He's going to a concert. I'm just going to enjoy the, the room service at the hotel with the dog tonight and um, before we get started on the um, Paranormal Weekend Tour. So let's pull Caitlin a card. So that's what happens when you start working in your magic daily and you actually have a, a magical business because you start doing magical things around that business to bring in ideal clients to do the law of attraction to, and there's nothing wrong with dispelling, right? Attracting and just um, repelling kind of people, right? Because those aren't your ideal people either. So you attract and you repel both ebb and flow. So I love, I love that. And you're not meant, and, and this is what I talk about when we work on six sessions together, right? We talk about living your life out loud and not being afraid of speaking your truth and actually not being afraid of showing who you truly are, right? Coming out of that energy of what they're, what are they going to do? What are they going to think about me? Are they going to still like me? You know, I can't say that I can't do that. So we work on releasing all of that um energy and all of that that thinking right that low vibe thinking that those people aren't going to like me what am i going to do um so you have been probably watching a lot of my posts lately that i've been posting a lot of empowerment um posts because that's what i want you guys to feel who gives a fuck about what people think about you anymore i'm older so I don't give a shit. I've never really given a shit. But when I worked in um, corporate America, I had to like shut myself, my true self down. And it was so disheartening. I just felt so drained. And I felt like I wasn't living in my authentic self. And I always would say I would wear my corporate suit Monday through Friday. The corporate suit goes in the closet at six o'clock on Friday. And then my magical cloak comes out at six o'clock on Friday. And then it goes back in the closet at Sunday at, you know, nine o'clock. And then it's just a, a cycle of repeating, right? Corporate America, who you have to be versus who you truly want to be, right? And it's a never ending cycle. So when you work with me, I want you to really feel empowered. And I want you to work together with me so we can get you out of that 
oh, that people pleasing or what are they going to think? I want you to step into your authentic self. So if you run a business or if you just want to be more empowered in your life and you want to be more authentic and you want to hear your voice um, be heard, then this is what I do. This is my passion. My passion is empowerment for women along with magic. So it is a combination of empowering women through magic. Now I live in a smaller town. I used to live, moved here from Austin. In Austin, you can be as weird as you want to, right? Um, so my article um, just um, dropped today in the newspaper about the paranormal stuff. And I, I'm already getting calls from the local historian people. I'm already getting calls from Mount Morris Cemetery folks saying, hey, these are the rules. We can't do this. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, watch me. You are already trying to put stipulations on what I cannot, can and cannot do in my business. And I always say, watch me. Watch and see what happens when the divine speaks and in, uh, comes into your life and says, no, this is what's going to happen. And I walk with the, my daughter every single day and we're going to remove those obstacles. So, and yesterday, well, today I had to go do a business license, right? Register all that in the business and um, down at City Hall and the City Hall, I haven't been to the City Hall. Um, I've always driven by it, but I've never been in it. And it's an amazing, an amazing um, building with lots of history. It's par It's haunted, lots of ghosts in there. So I'll probably do an investigation in there and do some witchy magic in there too. But before I went in there, I did my little witchy sigils around the, um, you know, the building. I did my empowerment. I spoke to the universe um, before I even went in there that I would be successful. And it was. But it was funny because they have a whole list or pictures of the city council in the um, on the wall when you first come in. And it's all older white men. And I'm like, oh, things about to change in St. Joseph. <laughs> things are about to change. And that's what women do when they come together, when they come into their power. We change shit. And that is why back in the day, women were forbidden to gather in circles because that's where the power came. That's where we started plotting and scheming and changing things and having ideas because we're building that circle of energy around. So when women gather, shit changes. And that is why we were forbidden as women back in the day, especially witches, that we were not allowed to gather. And it was against the law because that means that they couldn't, we couldn't be ruled with, you know, we live in our own life. We were changing stuff. So I feel that things are going to be changing here, right? So I want things to change in your life. And I want you to feel more empowered in your life and create that magical business that you want to, right? Or, you know, empower your life and however you feel. You need empowerment. You need authenticity. You need to hear your voice. You're not living in fear anymore. Whatever you need to do, I am here for it. And I'm here to help you and to manifest that. And find your own magic that works best for you, all right? So, Caitlin, did you want a car? Let me know if you wanted a card. If this is resonating with you, let me know. Give me some hearts or some thumbs up. Um, oh, hello, Amaya. Is that how you say that? Amaya, A-M-I-A-H? I think that's how you say that. I hope that's how you say that. Thank you for being here. Got a new follower, Amaya. I love it. So if you are like stuck or you're feeling life is swallowing you whole, you don't have a purpose, you're all over the place, you're afraid of judgment from others, you're not living your authentic self, and you're silently screaming inside, I want to be heard, I need to manifest this, I want a magical shop, I want a magical business, or I want to be the top you know, seller in my realtor job. Whatever it is for you, it doesn't really have to be around magic. What it does, it just has to be the power within you, the self-empowerment within you that wants to be led out, okay? So if you want to feel powerful 
If you want to dive deep into your divine feminine energy, if you want to take control of your life and manifest everything that you want in your desires, if you want to live in your purpose, if you want to be a powerful as fuck person, and you really just tired of just really worrying about what other people think or their approval, we need to work together. All right. So, Caitlin, and stay tuned because um, I've got a special offer for you guys. So, Caitlin, I love working with Caitlin. She need, she need to come back into my academy, sister friend. Let's see. Caitlin, what do we have for you? Ah, so we need to work on releasing things for you. Time to let go. Time to let go of trying to control everything where you're at, trying to let go of perfection is what I'm getting, and trying to let go or take it, yeah. Hey, Renee. No, you're fine. You're right on time. And um, yeah, attacked and also feeling just like you are playing small. Judgment is coming for me, for you. Um you want, and I'm getting the word expansion from my guides also. So you want to do a lot more where you're at now, but you're, I wouldn't even say you're really afraid because I've never got the afraid for you, but it's more like self-confidence and we need to work on your self-confidence and building that up because there's so much stuff in your mind and so many things around you that you want to expand and you want to do. But we need to build the self-confidence up and we need to build the um, energy up around you feeling secure in what you're doing and also trying to release the negative attachments to people. Hmm. That's interesting, Caitlin. Working on release. It's time to let go. It's time to be you. It's time to free yourself. Remove all the restrictions. <clears throat> all the remove all the ties that bind you. It's time to really just let go. You've been doing this for a while. Okay, good. Amaya, I got that right. Hey. All right. So does that make sense, Caitlin? Just like, yeah, we talked about motivation and that's, you know, that's fine. You know, we go into that mode also, especially with what is happening now with the cycles, kind of in the, um, the mode of just resting and rejuvenating. And here's the thing, when you work with me, I give you permission to slow down a little bit, rest, take a day off, don't do your magic. Right. As far as like, don't be a, in your divine masculine, being your divine feminine, which means relaxing and receiving and being silent. Right. Maybe this is the time that you need to reevaluate what you want to do in your business or in your life and what you want to to manifest, you know, next year, what you want to work on. You should be working on your plans for next year. And sometimes we just need to sit in silence and receive the messages from the universe. And be still. And there is nothing wrong with that. You still do powerful magic if you are in um, flow and if you are in your temperance mode. Okay. It's okay if you slack. It's okay if you, you know, aren't pushing yourself on a daily basis. That's fine. Oh, Johnny's hair. Oh, my sister. See, now I'm getting a, some of them coming in. Yeah. All right. So, Amaya, let's pick a card for you. Real fast. <laughs> Amaya, you need to focus on some shit. <laughs> you need to be focusing on what you want to do in your magic what you want to do in the next year you need to stop with the shiny um, object syndrome 
you need to get focused in your practice, focus in what you want to be, focus on what the transformation you want to become and butterflies around you. And you really are focusing more of the higher level vibration and not so much the lower. So third eye, spiritual connection and um, mediumship up here or working right up here. I love working up here. Um, this is all the astral plane stuff. This is all the um, galactic beings and the ascended masters work way up here. Not on your crown chakra, but you're talking about the chakras way up here. So your vibration right here is where it's at. So you need to start focusing on that. I love that. And butterflies. And waxing, give us moving for you. I love that one for you. Working on your psychic abilities, for sure. But third eye, but also the spiritual plane up here, way up here. Nobody really talks about that, like the 12th chakra. Let's see. And Jody, let's pull a card for you real fast. Oh, I got to pull a card for Renee, too, before I forget. Oh. So, Jody, you got change coming up for you, my friend. This is a time for you to take advantage of what I'm about to offer you guys. Right. So this you are in what normally change for me is like the death card in normal tarot. Um, you are in the transition of death and rebirth, the butterfly, right? If you want to be gentle about it. Um, so this is about you stepping out from where you are now, pushing yourself out and just expansion for you. And you need to change. You are like, you have this inner energy of, of being pulled to change things. Not only you, but changing your surroundings, changing people around you, changing your community, how people view things. So you are almost like this big, huge lightning bolt is what I'm getting. And that you are magically about to change who you are. And all through, it's almost like chaos magic. It's almost just like um, thunder magic, right? Storm magic, the storm goddess. So it's not so much a nice, gentle kind of, oh, kind of flow. You are about to bust out and you want this change immediately. Yep. And Jody says, I need it. Yeah, you do. Because the universe is like working under the thunder moon and um, lots of red around you is what I'm seeing. And you're about to almost just push yourself out. And I see you like with your hands out like this and just falling, right? big shift and big changes for you magically and in your life. So I like that for you. So, all right, Renee. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, we have protection from you and the mama bird. So make sure you're throwing up your protections. Make sure you are working with the mother nature. You're working with the nurture of the divine feminine mother, right? There's some kind of issue that's going on between you as a child in the womb energy that we need to clear out because this is womb work. This is sacred women's work, womb work, especially with this right here. The issues that you're having or that you need to work on comes from the, the womb issues, right? So maybe you're feeling a little bit down. Maybe you're feeling a little bit small. You just want to like curl up. You're working on your protection. Um, so you may be having a little bit of stomach pain or a little bit of womb pain. That's going to be coming up for you. But that's you kind of like protecting the core of you right now. Yeah. Renee said, yeah, she's having that. So that's typical. That's a protection kind of like protection, protecting your inner child, the core of you. So I see you like your hands around your stomach or your womb area. So yeah, that's all about protection for you. Birds. Yeah. Jody says so much to handle. Well, I don't want you to handle it by yourself. And this is why I'm giving you 
a special pricing on this Fierce as Fuck session, right? Six sessions. We're going to be transforming where you are at now magically in your life to feeling more empowered in your life, to being more authentic in your life, right? And um, feeling like you can do anything. It's just like today when I went in there and, um, you know, well, when she called me on the phone, she was like, well, Matt Moore doesn't do this and doesn't allow paranormal investigations. I'm like, you can say what you want to say, but you're speaking to me. You're speaking for, from a child of the divine. I wasn't brought here on this universe or in St. Joe to be told no. And who are you as an earthly plane or, or an earthly person? not connected to spirituality to tell me what I can and cannot do. I said, you don't even know who you're talking to and you don't even know the ancestors that you're talking to that you're denying. So you can talk all you want to, but you don't even know what I'm about to do. So this is the type of stuff that I want you guys to work with. And during the six sessions, we change where you're at now into that thought pattern of, yeah, you can just blah, 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 all you want to but it isn't going to change what I want to do or what my ancestors are telling me or what my spirit guides are telling me or where I'm being led to do or what the universe wants me to do. That's just freaking noise, right? So it went out one ear and out the other. And I'm like, watch me, bitch, because it's about to change. You can say what you want to, that you don't allow this and paranormal investigations and blah, blah, blah. But we're about to change. We're about to see what's happening. And you don't even know who you're talking to, right? You're talking to a powerful witch, someone who has been blessed by the ancestors, someone who is blessed by the goddess. I am a child of the divine. I cannot be denied. That is my personal power. I want you guys to get there with me. I'm going to show you how to be in your divine personal power to create a daily magical practice so you will not be defeated when the muggles come up to you and say, you can't do this. You're not worthy enough. Put roadblocks after roadblocks after roadblocks in front of you. But I want you to push through those because you have a destiny to design your own life. And I'm here to show you how to do that all through magic, all through mindset work and all through manifestation. All right. Ah, you're my hero. Thank you, Sandy. You're so sweet. Ah, <laughs> you know, and you know, Everybody is can do what I do. Everybody in here is watching me is a strong woman to be to be reckoned with. You're a force of nature. I want you to be that and recognize that within you. Are you being the force of nature in your life? Are you taking no as an improvement or a challenge in your life? How are you going to react when life throws you no? That's what I want to empower will empower you with. That means you go directly to spell casting. You go directly into your magical powers. You go directly into alchemy energy, which is shifting and changing, right? Just because the muggles can't see your vision or can't see the vision that you are creating with the guide of the universe doesn't mean that it's not possible. Anything is possible. You want that magical storefront, but you don't know how you're going to do it. You're going to do it with magic. You're going to do it with empowerment. If you want that raise, but you don't know how to speak and ask for that raise because you've been looked over for promotions for all the time because Bob always gets their promotion. You are going to go into that office of your, your corporate office, the boss, and you're going to demand that, hey, I need a raise from everything I do. We're going to get your voice back. It is time. We are moving into 2023, right? A lot of you, like I said, have been stuck in the same position for a long time who hasn't worked with me. It's time for you to step up. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to work on today to bring to fruition in your life? all through magic. You can do it. I'm here for you to help you. You don't have to go this alone. You don't have to start scrolling through the internet trying to find answers because they're they're confusing. I'm going to give you the tried and true methods of my magic that I do on a daily basis that I know works. 
I've seen it. My clients go through my testimonial posts. Those are just a little bit of my testimonial posts. Ask me, I'll give you other testimonial posts, right? My clients have changed their life all through working with me. Uh, Cindy says, so glad that I found this life. I have to hide everything I was gifted with. No more, no more hiding. Today, everybody claim it. No more hiding. Say it and claim it. Today is the day of um, revelations for you. Today is the day, right? Okay. So let's talk about the six sessions, um, Fierce as Fuck. I have a special offer for you guys. I have one that already has taken this offer, but I have two more spots open for six sessions and you can use them within three months. So you don't have to do back to back or if you need to take some time off, but as long as they're used within um, three months, you can use them whenever you want to. So it's not every week, right? Because we get busy. So six sessions to use within three months of daily practice of um, mindset work, of workbooks, of working on your goals, daily tasks, mirror work, healing, anything you want to do within those six sessions. If you just want to work, work on your spiritual practice, I got you. If you want to work on um, creating a witchy business, I've got you there. Whatever you want to focus on in the six sessions together, we can work on together and we can manifest that together, right? So special pricing for today, only 24 hours, 24 hours, all right? And only for two people, it's going to be $1,500, all right? I'm taking off $1,000 of the price, and we have two payment plans, right? One or two payment plans, I forget. Um, so you don't have to pay that in full, but if you do pay it in full, you get a paid in full bonus of, hey, boxer, right? One-on-one -on -one walkie talkie support. So you don't have to wait for those in between sessions. If you have a breakthrough, a question, or you need guidance, right? You just shoot me a message in between our sessions. So that's a paid in full bonus, but we have payment plans available, special pricing available, six sessions for a $1,500. I had to think about that. So that's a thousand dollars off only for 24 hours. Tomorrow, you're going to see posts that are going to be regular price. Once these are filled with those two people, that's it. It goes back to regular price and bonuses will go away and the special pricing goes away. Don't forget, I'm sending this out to the masses. You guys are not the only ones that get this. All my email list gets it. All my Instagram, all my YouTube followers, they get this special too. So you're looking over... 3,000 people are going to be seeing this, more than that probably. So if you are ready to empower yourself through magic, to change your circumstances, to be fierce as fuck, no more hiding, no more being overlooked for promotions, no more being on the wheel of life and not thinking that you can't control it. If you want to be divinely guided and Create your, hey, Anna, thanks for being here and create your destiny and demand that you want to be this type of powerful witch, then you need to send me a message. I don't even think I have anything in there right now as far as payment links for this special. You have to send me a message to get these and then I will send you the payment links. Okay, so payment in full, thousand dollars off. 24 hours only, two people. Once they're gone, they are gone. And you have a paid in full bonus of boxer support Monday through Friday. So you get in between support. Six sessions of live one on one includes workbooks, worksheets, action plans, that kind of thing. Healing, tarot cards, um, spiritual messages, divine downloads. I'm going to be sharing all of those with you. Um, when we work together, we're going to look at wounds that need to be healed, where you're stuck at, what you need to do. So this is a whole transformation thing to get you started in six sessions. So like I said, you have to send me a message and I will send you the links. This is only good for, say it, everybody drop it in the comments, 
24 hours. Let me put that in here. 24 hours only. Because I'm trying to light a fire under your asses. Because I know it. I know you because I've been there too. Like, oh, I'll get it when I get more clients or I'll wait for my tax return and I'll wait for this. You are never ready. You are never, ever going to be ready. Just like when you have a baby, you, it's never going to be the right time to be pregnant. You just are pregnant, right? <laughs> you can't plan it. You have to like take that leap, right? I would not be here in front of you if I was not divinely placed in front of you for you to hear this. All right. So send me a message. 24 hours only special, six fierce as fuck sessions at the special pricing of a thousand dollars off. So that's fifteen hundred dollars paid in full bonus, or we have two payment plans. Send me a message. Let's get you started as soon as next week so we can get this new life working out for you the best we can for 2023 and set you up for success not only in your business, but your personal life, your magical life. And really now for the rest of your life, this is a jumping off point. All right. All right, my witchy friends, we will see you. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a live. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So everyway, we'll see you later. And happy Friday and send me a message if you want to grab one of those spots. All right, everyone. Witch on.